I'm not gonna lie, I went into a few banks and as to try and open business accounts and it was a bit demotivating. You need to have and you need to have like I, there's there's no there's absolutely no way you can open a bank account without it. The bank that I opened, dun dun dun, was a bank called What's up guys? It's the Monago family A. Hey. I'm Uche. I'm Charmaine. And we're the Monago family parents. We are. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you've been watching us, what's up? I hope you guys are all good. By the way, if you are new to our channel and you want to join a family, why wouldn't you want to join a family like this? Nice. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> so you join the family and you keep up to date with when we post. And don't forget to give this vlog a like because you know these likes keep our channel alive. So that's the housekeeping out of the way. We wanted to do a quick vlog on opening a bank account in the UAE, yeah. in Dubai. A lot of questions. Because we've had a lot of questions on this and we promised that we'll do it. So here's a quick vlog for you. At the end of this vlog, we will tell you which banks we went for. Yeah. And we feel like these banks were easier to open. But you've got to watch to the end of the vlog because we're not telling you before. <laughs> okay? Okay. Grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. We're going to talk about opening a business bank account mm -hmm. because that's what we had to do. And also opening a personal bank account, essentially, because that's what we had to do. So go with the business one first. Yeah. So business one, the situation is, it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation because when you go to try and open a business it's account. It's a chicken and egg. Yeah, it's a chicken and egg. <laughs> Because they say to you, when you go to open a business account, they say to you, you can't open a business account because you need a property. When you try and get a property, they say you can't get a property because you don't have a checkbook. So you're just spinning around. So you're spinning around. So, I hate the chicken egg now. Yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a weird situation. Yeah. This was our journey with like being self-employed. Yeah. So how we got around this, so I'm not gonna lie, I went into a few banks and as to try and open business accounts and it was a bit demotivating yeah. in terms of like, you know, what they said and the criteria and just knowing that you can't meet the criteria. Some asked for like three months bank statements for your personal account. You just moved to Dubai, you don't have that obviously. And so it was a bit demotivating, but this is what we did. Firstly, you need to register your company. So if you're self-employed, you register your company. We got our company license, we got our Emirates IDs and then we also got our visas. You need your Emirates ID to ask them open a bank account, business account or personal account. Trust me, I asked like 50 times. Not personal, <laughs> okay. there's one that doesn't do personal, but I'll come to that in a minute. Okay, so she's gonna come to that. One, yeah. When those things come, at that point, we didn't have a permanent address. So we were limited in terms of which accounts we can we had. We were still like kind of in Airbnb. And I think at that point specifically, I was staying in a hotel. We were, yeah. But I found a bank to do it in the end, and it was an online bank. The process was really smooth. You literally fill in their form online, submit all the details, and yeah, it went through. I think I put through the hotel we're staying as I address for the time or no no they asked for the company address sorry they asked for the company address and that was basically the address the company was registered to where we actually registered the company so that was pretty straightforward and that was smooth they delivered my card and my checkbook to where we were staying yeah. so it's pretty straightforward but I'm not telling you the name of the bank until the end of the video yeah. so you've got to watch to the end Charmaine's going to move on to personal because she became a personal bank expert <laughs> Did I? Um, she was trying to basically find the best deals and so forth and she dedicated lots of time to it so she's going to share her findings with you to thousand years later. It was the same thing like that they said which is you need this to open a bank so it, it was really difficult we couldn't like I was trying to figure out which bank would let first of all there was one bank sorry that I went to then I realized that later on even though I used my Emirates ID to open the bank I found out later that you could open this one bank that I found you can open this bank account without an Emirates ID so they give you like 90 days so you can open it temporarily they may put some restrictions on your account but they let you open it which is amazing so if you wanted a bank account straight away and you haven't got your Emirates ID or your visa yet, they give you a certain amount of time. If you don't have it within that time, and they close your account down. So there is one bank does it. And then the other two banks, other banks that I found, you need to have your Emirates ID and you need to have your visa. Like I, there's there's no, there's absolutely no way you can open a bank account without it. So that's it really, it's the same process as yours. There's no actually uh, other process that mm -hmm. I can go through. It's just the banks, we need to tell them the banks that we opened. <laughs> so are you ready? Are you ready? So comment down below if you're ready, are you ready? All right, so, so look, the bank that I opened, dun dun dun, was a bank called Wio Business. So we got a Wio Business account. So we opened, so I opened that on behalf of us, a Wio yeah. Business account. Smooth account opening process was really nail biting when I was waiting for it to go through the online process and when it goes through the stages and it tells you what stage it is at the application. And when they actually approved the application, we said, 
So we have said yes to us. Pretty straightforward again. And I was able to do that using the business address and have our card and checkbook delivered to the hotel that we're staying at. So that was yeah. beautiful, pretty straightforward. To be honest, working with them has been great. I haven't had any issues with the bank. There are a few charges here and there as you would normally get in business banking in the UK or wherever you're living, I'm sure. But all in all, it's a smooth uh, process. I do have a personal account as well. Should I talk about mine first or yeah, we're gonna talk about yours first? You can talk about yours. I ended up going with a bank called Fab Bank for personal. Again, was really, really smooth smooth there's an interesting charges and stuff the way they charge here is a bit different so you just need to get your head around it but on the whole i found them to be quite smooth for me as being a business person in uae again i was able to open it when we were at the hotel yeah we yeah yeah we were staying at the hotel for 30 days i was able to open it there again and have the checkbook and, and bank account delivered and it was an amazing moment because we <laughs> had the ability to have a card in the uae and have money in the uae so it was yeah. amazing charmaine's going to tell you about the other personal bank so we opened yeah so i tried to open a fab bank <laughs> but it didn't work out for me no it didn't work out i'm quite impatient actually i'm not gonna lie so it took me a while it, there was just something that didn't work out it was a technical error so i ended up just looking at other banks anyway so i ended up going with i went with hsbc actually which most people will know about there's one in the uk i don't know about other countries but i know there's the hsbc in the uk and that's the bank account that i found out that will open up your bank that will give you a bank account without an emirates id to start with so if there was a bank that you wanted to open straight away that would be the bank to open i did end up closing that bank account down though only because i actually wanted a bank account that was actually in the uae so there's emirates mbd and there's mashrek so those are the two bank accounts that i actually have um, Emirates MBD is a really big bank in Dubai, like Fab Bank, and same as Mashrek. So. And they've got like Emirates MBD, have got loads of added additional benefits and stuff. Exactly. So, so that's why she wanted the Emirates MBD. That's why account. I wanted to go yeah. with them. They nothing wrong with HSBC. No, yeah, nothing HSBC wrong with was cool. We didn't experience any bad service with them. So it might be the right thing for you, but yeah. um, she wanted Emirates. I wanted Emirates MBD. That's what I actually wanted. So yeah, yeah that's that is one with them. They have so much stuff. Like if you go to the cinema, they have this stuff like two for one on your card and so many different things. So when I saw that, I just thought it was a bit better. So yeah, that's who I went with. But those bank accounts, you do need to have your Emirates ID, you do need to have your visa to open that. Emirates MBD, if I'm right, I had to have an actual address as well. So I got my Emirates MBD account when I moved to Arabian Rochers. And whereas with Mashrek, I actually got that when we were staying in a hotel. So there you have it, guys. That's the account opening process. It's yeah. pretty straightforward. Doesn't, you know, when you come and you're, you know, feeling like you just want a bank like you had in wherever you've come from, it can be a bit frustrating because you want to just land here and be able to do things easily. Yeah. But just stick through it and you'll get there eventually. And looking back at it to be fair it is a quite a swift process don't forget to drop a comment down below let us know if you enjoyed the vlog and if you've got any questions or anything else you'd like us to speak about and we'll always do our best to tell you but we always talk from our experience it's important for us to talk authentically from our experience and yeah we hope you enjoyed the vlog don't forget to subscribe if you're new if you're new and you haven't checked out our other dubai vlogs we have loads of vlogs around our journey moving here living here lots of fun lots of people said they had lots of value from us so don't forget to watch those please give this have a big like we appreciate you guys yeah. love you guys thanks for watching and peace out it's the Monaco family it's the Monaco